You know, when I first delved into trying to get traffic on Google for my website, my business, it felt like unless I had an endless pot of money or budget for marketing, then I'd never succeed. But then I stumbled upon Google My Business and now it's called Google Business Profile. However, it already become obvious that many other business owners had also already got their business on Google Maps and Google My Business. And so I was now kind of always trying to catch up. So I started discovering ways of getting new tips, tips that people weren't using, and also finding ways in which I could get a boost on ranking on Google Maps and just get found. And that's where my web design business really took off. And my tips, I started making videos on, and now actually I have so much business coming through the web design that I actually don't do the business apart from looking after my previous clients. And now I'm just spending time helping other businesses like yours to get a ranking on Google Maps. So today I've got 13 tips that I've put together that are gonna really help you get your business right up the rankings. And there's a couple of real gems and bonuses coming up in this video too, so look out for them. But first, let's take a couple of tips that are really gonna be easy for you to implement today. And the first one is just to do with questions and answers. Questions and answers are shown on your business, particularly on the business profile or the knowledge panel, and you can just add your own questions. And a lot of business owners don't realize, but even if others haven't asked questions about your business, put some information in there. So think in terms of if you've got an FAQ on your website, or if you've had questions that you keep getting people phoning up and asking, put them on here. Why? Because Google will use that information and it can even use it for justifications at some point in the future where it'll explain that you are the right fit for that particular person. In fact, Google uses AI to try and answer people's questions as I come on to show you in a minute when it comes to messaging as well. So I'm gonna ask a simple question on mine. Do you have a Google review workshop? Because that's a new question people are asking me that I released a few weeks ago. And the answer is yes. It's just been released and you can locate it here on my website and now I can put a link through. So this is now, again, when people are asking questions, it gives an opportunity for them to be linked through to my website. So second tip is to do with questions and answers, but it's actually, you can now raise that particular question so that it shows to customers without them even asking. So this is a new tip that's come through and the way you can do it is just give three likes to your Q&A. So you just go to your Q&A, give it a like, get someone else to give it a like, so maybe if you've got two or three other members of your staff, get them to log in, give it a like. And then after three, you can see it then appears and people can then see it for themselves. It now shows on your Google listing. Now the third tip is all to do with Messenger and another fact that Google takes messages for you and also answers them. So most people don't realize this, but you can go into Message and you can then go into their or Messenger. And what it is is you click on messages, click on the three little dots, and there you can see chat settings. You need to make sure this is switched on. So that's the third tip, make sure you've got this turned on. But also then the fourth tip is also how you can now add your frequently asked questions here. So that's another useful area. In fact, I'm getting an extra tip here as well is why not change the welcome message? Because it's just a generic message make it so it's more of a friendly approach. You might want to put something like, hello, uh, welcome to Zanet Design or your business name. And then thank you so much for reaching out. We're thrilled to connect with you. Let's answer some of your questions or something like that. And Google use those FAQs, those questions that you've answered on there, and they'll use that as a way to try and intelligently answer people's questions for you. But you'll also get uh, you can link it through to your phone and you'll then get a message to say that someone's contacting you. Or if you log into your Google business profile, you'll get information where you can correspond. So this is a great way to get leads. It's a great way to show to Google that you're corresponding and you're involving your customers, which gives positive signals, which then will help you in your rankings. Now, before we go on to tip number five, if you do use ads, then I've got something coming up that's really helpful. It's just to the fact that a lot of people invest money in ads on Google and they don't need to, or if they have done it, they can use it as a kickstart, but then they need to then gradually let go of that as they get the Google business profile, bring in more traffic. So I've got a nice useful guide that's gonna help you in a moment and I'll show you how to use that. So the fifth tip is to use 
quality images and videos. So it's so easy to just use stock photos, maybe use photos you've had on your website for years. But do your photos actually really bring in traffic? Well, they can do. On one of my accounts, I brought in millions of views through just a good, well-positioned photo. And the way to know which photo to use for your service or products is to go to Google Images, type in there what it is your particularly your service is, so say it's an irrigation service, see what images come up. So in this case, rather than the hose pipes or taps, you notice it's sprinklers. So think in terms of, well, could you present videos or could you present images that really show your branding, uh, people that work for you with sprinklers? And that would then again help you to rank. Google would recognize that and that tells you what Google's looking for on those types of keywords. So put your keywords into Google Images, see what turns up, make your own version of that photo, but make it unique to your business. My sixth tip is the importance of recognizing your brand's strength and your visibility. So your business website is actually going to have an impact on how your business is ranked in Google Maps. So even though you may feel it's all about your Google business profile, and most of the tips on this video are about that, your Google business branding itself and your website and how you're viewed on the internet makes an impact too. So what can you do about that? Well, you need good citations, you need good links. So I've got this little citation builder. It's a great little way in which it goes to my competitors, sees what they're using, see how they're ranking. It then goes and basically works out where they're getting their rankings from. Can I do the same for my business? And then you've got the blue and the red, which shows you whether or not it's easy to register or not. So you can go for the easy wins here. As you can see, I've got a stack load here to do. What a great way to get really high quality links that are relevant to my business niche. So I'll leave a link to this tool down below. It's a really great tool from WhiteSpark for citations. Now my seventh tip is all about reviews. You'll know I've done a workshop recently about reviews and the importance of them, but it's not just me saying that. I was watching a short from Chris Palmer the other day, and this is what Chris had to say. Don't think that, that reviews make an impact on anything. They took all the reviews away. They were doing massive updates in the last two months, took them all away. We went back in, added them all, not even one at a time from, didn't take our time at all. Went in there and slapped them all back, whoop, right back up. Literally right back up. Like this is how impactful they are. So interestingly, Chris shows there on the video that just by taking reviews off, and then putting them back immediately impacts your ranking. So we've always thought the reviews perhaps don't have such an impact on ranking that they're more of a human factor, but it appears it even has an effect from the fact that it does get recognized by Google. So do continue to build your reviews, do continue to get them on a regular basis, and you'll find it has an impact on your ranking. And my eighth tip is that Google's announced they're deleting business profiles that are older than two years old. So they're now beginning to prune down the Google businesses. So if you've got a business you've registered and it's over two years old, you may want to just go in there and update it because if it's not been updated for two years, it will disappear. Having said that, if you want to delete your business profile altogether, you can do that. And I'll show you how to do that a bit later in this video. Now, number nine is about understanding what your audience is actually wanting from you. So what do your customers actually want when they come to your business, when they're looking for you? So obviously keywords is important, but understanding also what devices are they using? Are they using a mobile? Are they finding you on maps? Are they finding you on search? Well, you get all that information by just clicking on your traffic, your views here, and then it takes you through to your insights. So insights are kind of hidden away, but it is worth checking from month to month just to see are your customers wanting to call you? Are they messaging you? Are they wanting to just get directions? That tells you some more information about how your business is being found, but also what you could improve on as well. Tip number 10 is one that I think is about to disappear, but you might wanna get in there quickly, and it's products. So products still exist. So why do I think it will disappear? Well, two reasons. One is that Google's done nothing about products for a long time. Two, it's got an old interface. So you could get the impression that either going to update it and you'll get a real bonus from it, or it's just going to disappear altogether. 
But either way, you can still get products in there. You can categorize your products as well. There's a little bonus tip there. And you can then use keywords on those categories as well. Now, number 11 is when you do posts, you can actually do offers, but the coupon is a nice little touch for your offers. So when you do an offer, if you put in anything at all, so it doesn't have to be even a coupon that you take, but just put in there your, your, um, your brand, or if it's 33% off, you might put 33 off. But the reason you do it is it produces like a little coupon, like a little tear off coupon. And visually, I think that makes more of an impact on a post. So if you're going through posts and you suddenly come across that, it's a bit different. Most people don't use coupons and it just enables people to perhaps get their eyes caught and then to go onto your offer. And that takes us into the next one, which is another bonus, number 12, is that offers are powerful because they actually show up on maps. So most people don't realize this, but when you do a search on maps for a business, the businesses that have offers will also come up and it will say offer available. So if you haven't done an offer for a few months, why not add an offer? They normally last for a few months and they will then give you even more visibility on Google Maps. So before I take you to the biggest tip yet for the year that's going to have the biggest impact on your business, I did mention earlier in the video that if you use ads, I can save you some money. So what's that about? So it's a free tool that will help you to rank and then also save on your advertising fees. So you can download it, it's just a PDF workflow guide and it will take you through the balance of advertising, getting the ball rolling and then taking away advertising as your Google business profile expands. So you just work through the workflow and that will save you some money. So if you want to get that, you can just go to this free resources area of my website, which I'll put a link down below for you. So what has the biggest impact on your ranking at the moment? Well, it comes down to your category. So are your categories the correct categories? Because they do get updated from time to time by Google. Your primary category is going to put you in a boxing ring with competitors. But it may be that there's another boxing ring where there's very few competitors. So have a look, see what your competitors are using and could you then include that as an extra category, as a secondary category? So how can you know what they're doing? Well, that's where this tool here, GMB Everywhere, just put that on to Google Maps to search for what it is you're looking for. So in this case, a dentist in Cardiff. And there I can see then not only is it dental clinic, but also they've got cosmetic dentist, dental hygienist, emergency dental service. You know, if you haven't got some of those particular categories, you might be missing out. A teeth whitening service, there may not be enough uh, of the competition so you could be number one on Google Maps in some of these categories uh, because no one else is putting them. So find out what categories are really getting found on Google Maps by using this tool. And again, down below, I'll put a link to that. But what happens if you just want to start again? What happens if it's just gone all wrong? What happens if you just want a clean slate with your Google business profile? Is it possible to start again right from scratch? Well, I answer that question on how you can delete all the information about a business on this video here. So head over to that next and you'll be surprised on what you can actually delete. I'll see you there.